Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've got a little feature today. It's had a few questions about this. We've got a little fixed position button on the left hand side there. If I roll up and down the page you can see it's going to stay where it is. When I click on it it's going to pop out a video into a light box here. Of course you can just hit play and play the video. Really easy to do. So let's get started. We're going to be using a free plugin to do this today. It's called Divi Supreme Lite. I'll put the link below the video. It'll take you to this page. Here's Divi Supreme Lite on the right hand side here. Go ahead and click on it. And it'll tell you all about it here. If you roll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you'll see the free download button at the bottom. OK, well, let's continue. I'm going to enable my visual builder so we can work on the front end. Okay, well I'm going to delete the row that that button's in, which is down here. The reason the button's not in it is it's because it's a fixed position button up there. Yeah, let's just delete that and we'll start again from scratch. As you can see, or as you can't see because it's gone, our button's disappeared. I'm going to add a new row. doesn't really matter where you put your new row because we're using fixed positioning. I'm going to use a single column. All the light grey modules here are the ones that come as standard with Divi, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you install the free plugin Divi Supreme Lite, you get these blue ones here. And there's about 20 of them. You also get three awesome extensions. I'm going to be using the Divi Supreme button module today. There it is right there. If I just click on it. Now you can't actually see anything because we've not given our button a name and this little module gives you the opportunity to actually create two buttons so let's say watch video or whatever it is you want your button to say and let's spell it right and as you can see once I've put a title in there the button turns up down the bottom here I'm not going to use a second button but that's an option if you want it down below is where we can put our links for our button and you've got several options. You can open it as an image light box or a video light box or just have it as a regular button that links to something. And there's two options there. I'm going to have mine open as a video light box. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to YouTube and grab a YouTube video URL. Here we go. And I'm going to pop it in there. Not going to change that at all, same window, because it's going to pop up into a light box. If it was an image, you could enable open as an image light box. We're using a video, so I'm going to say open as a video light box. There we go. Not going to do anything else there. If you're using two buttons, you've got the opportunity to put a separator, a bit of text or a pipe or whatever you want to put in there between the two. And you've got some options here. As I'm using the one, I don't need to use that today. OK, well, I want to just style my little button slightly just to make it a little more in keeping with the rest of the page. Let's go over to design alignment. Don't need to use that because I'm using fixed positioning. I'm going to leave the text just as it is. Separated text we're not using. Here we go. Button one. Use custom styles for button one. All I'm going to do is make the text white. It'll probably disappear on our white background there, which is fine. And let's give it perhaps a blue background. I want to take any border away that's there. Obviously, you want to style yours how you want to. And as with any other Divi module, you can give it a hover state if you want to. And just hover over the dark writing. We need to go up to the thing we want to affect, which is button background here. When you hover over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons appear. If there's an arrow there, we can set a desktop state when your mouse is not on it. I want to leave that as blue. When we put the mouse on it, let's change colors. So I'm going to click on the little arrow there, the hover state. Let's change it to purple on hover. Now the default time it takes to go from desktop to hover state with Divi is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick for this. I think it'll work fine. If you do want to slow it down or speed it up, go over to your advanced tab over here and you can go down to transitions. There you'll find the 300 milliseconds default. Slide it to the right to slow it down, obviously bigger millisecond value, or to the left to speed it up. Okay, 
I don't think I want to do anything else here on the design tab. I'm not going to change spacing. I'm not going to give it a box shadow or filters or transform. Great. Well, let's put it where we want it now. I want this to be at all times on the top left hand side. And this is really easy to do with the Divi theme. Again, if we go over to the advanced tab, roll down a little bit, you'll find a positioning drop down. If we look at that, we've got default, relative, absolute, or fixed. I'm going to set mine as fixed today. As soon as I click on this, that button's going to disappear. And you may think, well, where's it gone? It's actually up under our header here on the left hand side, just below the position marker there. We've got a little matrix. If I click on the middle left, you'll see it in the middle there, bottom left, etc. Put it right in the middle of the page if you want to bottom right middle and any of these top ones are going to be under the header there now I want mine on the left so I'm going to click the left but of course I want them to be able to see the button because if they can't see it they can't click on it if we roll down just a little bit more we've got some offsets in this particular case we've got vertical and horizontal so to bring it down I'm going to slide this to the right and it should come into view there we go I want mine perhaps about there that's fine Horizontally, I'm just going to scoot it away from the side. I'm going to use a little arrow, arrows here to increment up until it gets to where I want it. Something like that, four or five picks. Let's round it down to five. Great. And that's actually perfect for me now. If you roll down the page and you see that some element perhaps is going on top of this button, this is where you would need to set an index. For argument's sake, let's just say this row here. Let's just save this. And I'll quickly demonstrate Z index for you. Let's give this crazy background color. Let's just make it black, I guess. So this has got a black background now. Let's see. Oh, we're not going to be able to. I'll make it into two so we've got plenty of scrolling room. And at the moment, that's fine. That button's on top of there. But if I was to change the Z index of this section, let's go to this section here, advanced position. I'm going to make the Z index of this section, say 10. And if I make the Z index of the button any lower than 10, the section will appear on top. Whatever's got the highest Z index number is always going to appear on the top. So what I was saying before, if we just do this and give this button a smaller Z index, we use 10 on that last one. So let's make this one five or even nine would work, but let's put five on that, any lower number, eight even. Now if I scroll up, you'll see that button's disappearing. And what I was trying to tell you is if you're scrolling down your page and you have an element that's going over the top of it like that, which you don't want, you want that button visible all the time. That's where you use that Z index that we've just done there. All we need to do is make this button a higher Z index than that section below. Now the section was 10. So if I go down to this and put it any number that's above 10, 11 would work, but you can put 999 if you wanted to make sure and just say that now when we scroll up our button will stay on the top great well we should be good to go here let's save our changes save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder there's our little button on the left hand side in the top there let's roll down make sure it's going to stay on the top of everything perfect fix that with our z index when we hover over it, it's going to change color. Got a little icon there. When I click on it, it should pop out our little video. And of course, you can hit play and start the video. So there you go, guys. There's how to add a little pop-up video from a button and also how to adjust your Z index to make sure things are going to stay on top. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.